I think I, I think I inadvertently went to school this week last week. What do you mean? Well, my teenage daughter, who's seventeen, so you normally school is year twelve, but they will finish year eleven. She goes, "Can I go down to the beach house with you know nine of my best friends?" Nine in your house, oh, you, nine girls oh. age seventeen, and you. No, no, there are a few boys amongst them. Two boys, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm driving down there, and then so, it went with two cars, one. What? Yeah, yeah, my mini bus. I hired a mini bus. You did not. <laughs> no, I did before. One of the other mums helped out. All oh, right, and, and she um, dropped. Oh, hang on. Did the other mum stay? No, no, she stayed at um, down the road at Aries mm. Inlet because okay. her friends live there or something. Mm. So yeah, it was just me. In the house. Nine teenagers. And one of my mates goes, You're it's schoolies. I'm like, no, is it? Yeah. But I, anyway, they didn't drink or anything. So it was Just did a lot of drugs. Not drugs. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of drugs. Free basing. Yeah. No, they're all great kids and um no issues there. But how's this? Right. We were in the supermarket and my daughter's like, You gotta get a cake. We gotta get a cake for tonight. There's a spe- special birthday, someone's birthday. I'm like, oh, okay, special birthday. Oh, someone's birthday, Glenn. So yeah. I get this cake. Good for you. Yeah, I get the cake. I go, oh, I'll put some candles on it. I bring it out. They're all sitting around, the, like you know, after tea. We had fish and chips. We're all sitting around, and I go to my daughter, who's whose birthday is it? And she's like, it's Taylor's. And I go, which one's Taylor? She goes, no, Taylor Swift. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I've got a birthday cake for someone I don't even know. For Tay-Tay. For the Tay-Tay, mate. What a disgrace. I said, well, I've got to go to the pub. I'm celebrating a birthday. Who's? Oh, I don't know. Jimmy Barnes? I don't know. <laughs> that's crazy, isn't it? Oh, that's fantastic. Is it? But well, don't you reckon that's a bit of fun? Oh, is it? I but thought it was one of their birthdays. But Tay-Tay's big in their lives. Well, I know. She's going to Tay-Tay. So, but so, you, so, you're going, we don't need to really go out and get a cake and candles well, and all that sort of stuff. And If she would have told me it's Taylor Swift's birthday, I would have said, well, we're not buying a cake for her. We don't know her. She's not turning up to the beach house, is she? Did you sing happy birthday? I think they ate it. I refused to. Did you put candles on and blow it out? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, yes. But, um, yeah, I wasn't happy. Like No, no I, Dave's not happy. Uncle, what do they call you, by the way? I uh, just Dave. Uncle Dave? Dave. <laughs> Special Uncle Dave. Special, like I'm in the famous five. <laughs> like I'm my Uncle, what's his name? No, just uh, Dave. And in the morning, did you wear your jammers out? Or did you get dressed in your room before you... Oh, uh, that's... Oh. You know what? I did get dressed in my room and made them pancakes because you don't be walking around. <laughs> you don't be making pancakes in your pyjamas. <laughs> oh, Uncle Dave's a bit weird. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's a lovely gesture. Well, we went down the beach. It was great. They get in the um, water. Yeah, 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 yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. um, yeah. And again, can be a little bit weird. But you were? Did you wear a wetsuit or did you wear your? your I wore bathers and a rashy. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, but you were the lifeguard. Yeah, there were actually lifeguards down there, which was great. They had oh, the actual right. proper lifeguards. So yeah, swim between the flags, kids. And were they screaming? Yeah, they were getting into it because they're city kids. They don't go to the beach much, and then the next day. Only two of them went in the water, I think. Two or three of them. Oh, they didn't really like the... Well, it, it sort of weeds everyone out. The first day, they're all excited. Everyone runs in. And then they, then they go, oh, they, yeah, yeah. it's a bit cold yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit cold. So the others go to... You know, oh, that's good. They've yeah. had, they had an outing. And, they've, and, yeah, they, was, and what did they... Would they stay up really late? No, they weren't too bad, actually. Because last time they stayed, I had to tell them, oh, shut up at about 12.30. Stop talking. What did you just went? Did you just... Is that what you said? Just shut up. Guys, shut up. I just, like that, just like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And what? Did they shut up? Yeah, but this time they were really good. They they watched a movie and then sort of fell asleep upstairs and, and all sit in the same room. Yeah, so you know, you our house is like an A frame, so it's like a triangle. Oh, see, that's that's where the murders happen up 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 in the A frame, <laughs> up top of the A frame. That's when built, the, built by a German guy and um, ex fisherman. It was a fisherman's hut, wasn't it? No, well, that's what they told us when we bought it, but. The guy in front, Jimmy, who's a great guy, he 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 said they weren't the guy that we bought. Right, the real estate is like they were five Vietnamese fishermen, right? Mm-hmm. And it was really basic, and yeah. you know they and and then the guy in the front goes, no, they weren't. They they all met at Melbourne Grammar, <laughs> so they're all loaded, and they bought this house as a bit of a hobby thing when they're twenties, and they come down and fish and surf. Oh, that's great. They're all Vietnamese, yeah. Australian, yeah. you know, Aussie, like me or you, and then they just. 
Also, so they didn't build it. No, the German guy built it. In the, the German guy in, in, the, in the eighties, and you know, down the coast, you see quite a few A-frame sort of houses. There's yeah, a few in Anglesey. There. Yeah, especially around Lawn. There's an interesting yeah, there's a architecture few, around there. There's a few around yeah. there. Yeah, and uh, and anyway, and so these young guys would go down in their twenties, but then they were all families, and so they just had to get rid of it. You know what I mean? Like you can imagine the wife going, "Why, why have you got this house with four of your mates?" Yeah, you know. So that's what they did. But anyway, it was. Um, Good times was had by all. Yeah, good times. And, you know, next time, just make sure you dress appropriately. Yeah. And, you know. <laughs> uh, Mal is now taking our, oh, um, God. our let's, lunch let's, away. Let's have the music. Yeah. Here we go. Welcome to Somehow Related Now. Please welcome your hosts, Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. Welcome to the podcast. I've got to say, I've got some gigs. I keep forgetting to mention I'm doing Byron Bay. What? Yeah, I'm doing the community theatre on the 4th of January. Didn't I get invited back? Oh, no, this is a different thing. We should, we've should. we done the festival, haven't we, before? This is not the festival. This is a... Uh, you think Chris will come? Oh, no, no, you're not there. You're talking about Chris Hemsworth. Liam, Liam came. Liam came last time to see mm. me and you, but this is just my solo effort. I don't know. I, even, I won't even attract... Remember there was like Pat Rafter? No, you met him. Yeah, he was. Yeah, no, Pat was there. He rang me. Bernard Fanning from Powderfinger. Yeah, he was there. He was there. And what's her name? The actress. Was Madeline, there. Yeah, Madeline, Madeline West was there. Um, the chef. Yeah, from um, her ex-husband. Little yeah, big showbiz turnout. Mm. But for me, there won't be any of them. Um, well, they're missing a good show. Fourth of January, and then I'm doing Wyong with Brad Oaks and Newcastle on the next weekend, the eleventh, no, the twelfth. Newcastle Comedy Club on a Saturday afternoon, and Wyong Theatre at Wyong. Get along if you because this is coming out. This podcast is coming out a few days after yeah. Christmas. Yeah, perfect timing for this plug. All right, we should get our topics. Let's just get the topics. Get straight to you it. You don't like it when we have chat. People, people like here, but you, you just want to get on with business. Oh, do I? Yeah, it's like you, you, you're shut up, you kids. That's what, that's what you know. Very business minded. Actually, I've got something for you. Where is it? Hang on. This is from Jason Kelly, who's a big listener. There you go. Of Hang the on. show. It's, there. it's on your phone. Is it? Keep reaching. No, it's it's his magazine. He gave us. Oh. Jason uh, used to sell tickets for the comedy club. He 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 has got for you the Mad Magazine, where you feature as Cal Mine in there. Um, oh, that's an honour. You know, you know, yeah, to be in Mad Magazine. I can pull out of the folder. There you go. Have that. That's yours. So you're in there. They, they do a cartoon of you. Can you believe really? That? Yeah, you're in Mad Magazine. You know, Mad oh, I'm Mag- not going to waste people's time, but I'll have a look. Wow. Yeah. I'd like to see me me drawn. Have you ever seen yourself drawn as a cartoon? Yeah. Um, is this, how old is this? Must be quite old. Must be quite old. Did he want us to have a look at send it back? No, that's yours. What's his name? Jason. Great. Thanks, Jason. I'll be interested. Mad Magazine was – God, I can't believe it's still around. It was big in the 70s. Yeah, in the 80s. Yeah, it was yeah. great. And it was kind of cutting-edge comedy. It was kind of like our – what? Oh, you know, like it was like just – well, that's where you got our last from because it was a bit cutting edge. Now you're going through the magazine. Are you? <laughs> now this is this is podcast radio, podcast magazine. Going I through. See a, I you want to see, see a picture a, of me? Jurassic Park. I look at all the references. Spy vs. Spy. Remember that? Yeah, oh, here yeah. we go. Catherine Kim's Global Assault. Now where are you? Well, you have to take a photograph of it to show people what you're talking about. Is that? Oh. Is that? Is that it? Stop reading the magazine, you kids. Yeah. It's not fair to the listeners. No, to, you're right. They'd me. rather hear us dribble on into the microphone than True. into a magazine. Uh, we, we haven't got the topics. We've no, had we'll, the music. We've had a chat. What are the topics, Sam? ACDC and Peter Pan. You know, this is bizarre, but when I was down the beach, Kieran's bought these coll- puffin book collection of famous children's books. So there's Huck Finn, there's Black Beauty, and there's Peter Pan. And I was reading it the other night. When I was down there with the kids. Oh, were, that's weird. Me, me and the teenagers sitting around. I keep going, <laughs> Did you break wind and fly out the window? <laughs> no, I didn't read it out loud. I don't think they're interested. But it is a bit weird. You've got to admit that Uncle Dave is in his room reading Peter Pan about a little boy who... <laughs> no, oh, Peter Pan. Story. Peter Pan. What's the story of Peter Pan? Peter Pan ran away from home. Because I read the first chapter, maybe. Because I never read Peter Pan. We all, we all know Peter Pan, but I don't think a lot of us have read I think it. I – why do I know Peter Pan? From Disney? Yeah. And I'll tell you where else I know it from. 
Neverland. What's um, Michael Jackson? MJ. MJ is he? He's a house? boy. A boy that never grew up. Oh, come yeah. To, so Neverland was a part of his house, or was his house it, called uh, Neverland? Yeah, it was a ranch, wasn't it? That was what you called oh Neverland. God, the ranch. Spooky. But anyway, um, so oh, Peter Pan. Say hello, Michael. But he, he can't no, be listening. Yeah. Uh, Peter Pan is a boy who ran away to live with the fairies. So he's sort of like a stunted growth, and he lives in Neverland, and he comes at night, and. Talks to children in their sleep or something like that. So the story is he comes in through the window and he's quite scary. Adults don't like Peter Pan. He's still got his baby teeth. It's a bit oh, creepy. That's, now, now I'm getting creepy. creepy. Now I'm getting it's a bit creepy. Okay. Spooky. And so in the story, he takes Wendy and the other two kids. I can't remember their name. The two kids that Peter Pan has come for. Yes. Yeah, and he flies off out the window to Netherland. The Netherland, where they face Captain Hook and the crocodile and. There's, yeah, there's pirates. They fight pirates. And then they also meet. It's kind of interesting because a lot of things have come into our vocabulary. The the name Wendy. That was the first time it was used. They reckon really? he, Yeah, they reckon he. Um, who wrote Peter Pan? J.M. Barry. J.M. Barry? Yeah, I think it's J.M. Barry. But it was a novel before. Was it a play or a novel or something? It was a was play, it? I think. And then it yeah. became a novel. And Wendy was um, the way one of his friends' kids said, said Robbie or something. I can't remember. They couldn't say, you know, the, so that Wendy, he made that name up for Peter Pan and then it became a name that, you know. So when you hear the, hear the term Peter Pan, what does that epitomise? The boy that never grew the up? The boy that never grew up. And that's what Michael Jackson likes to think yeah. of himself as a little boy that yeah. never grew up, which yeah. in fact, in some ways, was. He, yeah. he, he didn't have a normal upbringing. No, he didn't it, get to grow up. No, absolutely not. But also there's terms like The Lost Boys and so. Isn't that a TV show? That was a movie with Keith Sutherland. Listen. But it's also a term used in America for people that are they have you know they have Mormons that leave the faith and then um, they call them lost boys in in America because they're um, they're a bit lost you know what I mean yeah, they, they right. leave their faith and they just wander around or whatever right. a bit aimlessly and so when you read Peter Pan there's quite a few words and terms you go I wonder if that's where it was created yeah so there's these group of lost boys and um, that Peter Pan looks after it's all a bit creepy. And um, there's two, two, uh, toodles or something. But also, the other thing that struck me about Peter Pan, they've got a dog for a nanny. So it's sort of a bit quirky. So, you know, because Peter, um, Wendy and that, the kids are from a rich family, richish, yeah, yeah. but they can't afford a proper nanny to look after the kids and take them to the kinder. So they get a dog that is their nanny. <laughs> I don't want to be disparaging to this uh, this um, classic story, but here's what I reckon. Someone's the, the, gone the, to bed. The, the dog walks them to kinder and stuff and sits with the nurses. <laughs> a lot of the great artists do this. They have a dream. Yeah. They have a dream. Yeah, it's a fever dream. A fever dream. Yeah. And they write it down. And yeah. we go, oh, brilliant. And you go, no, no, just have some chili before you go to bed yeah. or, or, or drop Ma- this little Ma- tablet here. Magic mushrooms. And then, and then write that down and then you, then you, then you got something. Because if, if it's happening to someone who's in bed, yeah. like a little, the little creature came to my window, yeah. you're going, well, there's a story. Oh, the other thing is Tinkerbell. So you know Tinkerbell? No, but so yes. that's a little fairy that flies around and, and is sort of like Peter Pan's assistant, kind of. Tinkerbell does that epitomise something, M- meaning goodness or something? Does yeah, it? well, Tinkerbell, yeah, kind of. Tinkerbell's very pure. Tinkerbell's very cute. I don't know. It's a, it's and a, what does Peter Pan look like? What does he wear? I'm thinking. I'm seeing green. Yeah, his outfit's made of green feathers or something. Or and is, moss he, is or, he like a little like gnome? An, yeah, or something? Yeah, like more like an elf. 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 Yeah, elf yeah, of course. He's of not course. short. He's not short in stature. He's quite slim and boy-like. Right. He's very yeah. Because I get him and Pinocchio mixed up. Yeah. Well, similarities, I suppose. Pinocchio's nose kept on growing because yeah. he kept on telling lies. Yeah. But Peter Pan. As I say to the grandson, is he a good guy or a bad guy? I Peter think Pan's a good guy. No, he's a good guy. But they fight the bad guys. Captain Hook's a bad guy. I hope we don't get sued for this, but Captain Feather, Feather Sword. Oh, yeah, from the Wiggles. He's got nothing to do with... No. 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 What is Captain Feather Sword? I don't know. I just, I've seen him on the Wiggles. I don't know. I think he's the guy that wants to be a Wiggle. He says, like, oh, fuck. Do, oh, I, have to be, I, see. do I have to be the pirate again? Jesus. Yeah, good thing about being that pirate guy, you don't get too old, whereas the other Wiggles, it's like, yeah, don't they, get a bit of a limp, because boom, you're right, out the door. It's like Logan's run. Except for what's his name? 
the yeah, one, the, what's one, his name? yeah the, the Paul Field, the one that owns the Wiggles. Yeah, he's still kicking around. Yeah, but he's he, he, he's the original. No disrespect, because he's been touring for a long time and doing a great job and going worldwide. Total respect. But everyone else is dancing. He's there playing guitar. Yeah, who's the smart one? <laughs> you guys, I won't. I'll turn up. I don't need to come to rehearsal for dancing. Dance. I'll, just, I'll just play the guitar and sing along. Tom Gleason used to do a funny routine about. It. Imagine just being in that troupe and he's your boss and owner. So he's like, dance, wiggle boys. You know yeah. what I mean? Like him just looking over at you and you're going, am I dancing well enough? The boss is looking at me. From what I have heard at the moment, because I've been around wiggles a little bit of late, yeah. is that at the moment they've got lots of wiggles and they're evolving it through. So yeah. The, so the, there's more than yeah. just four. There's yeah. like sometimes there's eight of them. Yeah, well, Emma Wiggle left, didn't she? she Emma. Went, and then yeah. so if there's two yellows, two reds, two blues and whatever. Yeah. And you know one of the yellows is going to drop off, and you know one of the blues is going to yeah. drop off. You have to work out which one. Well, it's been a while since Jeff's been in it, so. It's been know. a while since what? Jeff. Wake up, oh, Jeff. Oh, wake up, Jeff. Yeah, him and Murray, all time. the originals. Have and they had some health problems. One had a heart attack. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, but what else can we say? Peter Pan. Yeah, real life boy. Do they get taken by pirates? I don't know. They have a fight or with pirates. Or they kill the pirates or something? I, they kill, I don't know. I, I didn't read all the book, but. I think I think most of us just know the general story that Peter Pan turns up at your window. And there, is there only one adventure, or is there, is there a lot of adventures? No, it's one big adventure because then they go back to their mum and dad, who think they're missing. They, they they think they've gone and stuff. I think, but it's in that day and age. You read the famous five; it's the same thing. Or Ina Blyton, the Wishing Tree. The parents weren't really involved a lot with the kids, you know what I mean? Yeah, they were kind of yeah. all just given to the nannies to look after and yep. mum and dad did important stuff, I don't know, and then, I don't know, they were just ignored. So the kids went off and made their own which, Yeah, which made their own fun. Which is what our upbringing was like. Yeah, absolutely. Whereas these days, you're like you, oh, hands on, yeah, hands on hands everywhere. On. Except for down the beach, you go off to bed and the kids and the party on watch movies. You can't be hands on with the teenagers, Glenn. Did you, smell anything, hands off. Did you smell any 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 sm- funny smells? No, nah, there was no no one vaping, no no, no one marijuana. We. I have spent time with your kids and they are absolutely delightful. Nah, I'm not surprised. I was doing, I was pulling bongs in the room because <laughs> a good thing to do, and they probably didn't do this. Mm-hmm. I know it's old fashioned. They're playing, I you know. know. They're playing, you know. I know it's old fashioned. Get a torch. Oh, I love that. And go for a walk. At night, yeah, and see the see the There's, and just it's scary down, yeah. down the coast. Oh, it is stuff happens. It's a good idea. They, they did go for a walk actually. They go walk at night. Yeah, I think they did. You know, if you've got a torch, you'll see things. Oh, it's fun. You'll scare each other, and mm. you know, was there any murder, um, murder did in the anyone, dark? Uh, hook up? No, I don't think so. Any kissing? No, I don't think so. Not that I knew. Not that I knew. Any, oh, I mean, who knows? I don't know. Yeah, well, possible. Could have. Could have. Have we said enough? Yeah, let's Pan? let's move on to ACDC. What do you reckon? As Play. I said before, played at my school. That's impressive. So what lead singer do you reckon it was? Would have been Bon Scott. Would have been 1970. Wow. What year did they form? 70, mid-70s, 70, 73 early. or something? Very early. So it would have been around 73, 74 when they were, when they were, they were popular, but they weren't so popular that they were, well, they were I can't believe they played school. at Strathmore High. When? It's incredible. No, it's they incredible, play. isn't it? Oh. But I wasn't old enough to go. Oh. I just heard. I remember everyone talking about it, and then years later going, wow, that really happened. I we we had Skyhooks play at our school. No. Yep. And I said to Red, because, you know, I see him. He lives around you. I see him down the street. And I said, you played at my high school. He goes, no, I didn't. He goes, I'd left the band by then. And then I look back. I asked my brother who helped organize, my older brother, and he said, yeah, Red, Red had left, and Shirley had left. So we had the newly... New lead singer in the new. Oh, so it, I didn't know that. Imagine that. Imagine being in Skyhooks and you've reached such, such success, and then a new one comes. Through. Well, and then, then you end up playing Mitchum High. Well, Little uh, River Band did that. Yeah, and they sold the rights to it. Then there was a huge court case yeah. because they decided we want it back now. You yeah, know, well, you sold it, and I think they lay lost trying to get yeah. it back. But Beebles and those guys, yeah, that's right. Do you well, reckon that we would ever someone would like would oh, we be pushed out here? Who, who's going to take over for you? By, by our can, rights, Husey could walk into your job, and who could well, walk into mine? Probably Hamish and Andy. Hamish yeah, and Andy would yeah, take this show over. Yeah, they just take it over. Oh, franchise it out. They hang. I mean, this is a perfect show for them. We just we just sit back. So what would happen? Hamish and Andy would have the show. Yeah, they would make a lot of money out of it. Yeah, and what would we do? Did we get a percentage? It's fifty fifty. Hamish we should go around the world. We should do it like a for different nations that we aren't in. We should do a 
Oh, German yeah. German one. We should do Chinese one. Yeah, we American. Do Swedish one. British. American, yeah. British. All around the, and we just f- fly in about a week and we say, find oh, yeah. a pub. And we have hamburgers for lunch. We do a bit of consultancy. You know, yeah, this and, is then, and this is what you do. You two and you guys. get, sorry, Sam on side. And then the rest is history. And then it's, the money starts rolling in. Yeah, and so we could go to England and, and you know, to say to Ricky Gervais and whoever. Oh, yeah. You can do this podcast. You and, you know, so all, uh, all good ideas. Now, ACDC. ACDC. Formed s- in, seven, in Melbourne? Formed? No. Yeah, Adelaide, Melbourne. Melbourne, maybe. Lead that- singer was Bon Scott. Bon Scott. Did you ever see the documentary on the Young family? It's really good. Oh, yeah. Angus that, Young and what's it, Malcolm Young? So talented. And Gary, Gary Young. The one, tr- yeah. There's one in the Easy Beats. Yeah, such great writers. Vander and, Vander and Young. Yeah, Vander and Young, yeah. Murder um, and the Duck Downs. The cleaners are just coming to do an yeah, assessment on the floor. They're looking at us going, well, there's homeless people <laughs> recording a podcast. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, they we saw them uh, down the beach. You know, remember they used to have bands down the beach on a oh, bus? Remember that? So good. It was great. These concerts they had in the 70s, it must have yeah. been. Yeah. And Dad, Trevor, my older brother, was a big ACDC fan. And he dropped us off at Inverloch to see ACDC. I can't remember. I don't even know if I was there. I know Trevor and Mark. Uh, sometimes you don't know if you're there or not because you heard the story yeah, so many times. so many yeah. times. And Dad, anyway, ACDC were playing. Dad dropped off Trevor and Mark and he <laughs> leaned out the window and he listened to the band and he said, this band will never get anywhere. <laughs> and then spun the wheels and drove off. <laughs> well said, Kev. They are pathetic. Oh, and then they became one of the biggest bands in the world. So, Bon Scott mm. passed away. Yeah. He fell asleep in his Died car or choked, something. Choked on his own vomit. I think. Oh, isn't so that just oh, so sad? It's terrible. It? And Brian Johnson took over. And he's good, though. He's great. Have you seen that, that, that uh, interview series he does? No, I should There's watch a that. Series prob- is it on SBS or ABC? Yeah. Where he goes back and he talks. To- oh, I'm not, I can't do the accent. That's it. Oh, and he just talks to the best in the world from his era, really. Oh, yeah. It's great. And he'll spend a day with them. And, you know, a guy from Sting. Oh, who Sting? He's done, he done Sting. Mark Knopfler. Mark Knopf, Dire Straits. Dire Straits. Yes. Yeah, right. Um, what happened to them, by the way? Dire Straits? No, they're still going. I think they like, are not still going. Surely they're still going. They were big in the 80s, weren't they? They bored themselves. <laughs> With their music. <laughs> Come on. Oh, they had some great They had some terrible songs. Though. Did they? Oh, you're an expert. I, I believe you. You're an expert. I and TV. That one's no good, I reckon. <laughs> it's a big hit, though. What What would I know? Songs of Swing's a good song. Um, what are the... Okay, let's get back on topic. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. He knew what I was about to say. Dirty Deeds, Back in Black. Is that a song? It was a oh, Back in Black was great. That's when they came back with Brian, the new lead singer. That was their first album, I think. I'll, I'll do the I'll do the I'll do the the melody. You do the song. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, That's dirty uh, deeds uh, done dirt cheap, no. isn't it? Dirty it's... deeds done dirt cheap. It's uh, a great uh, song. Highway to hell. Oh, oh, highway wrong. to hell. How's oh. highway to hell go? This is embarrassing. It's a highway oh, to hell. hell. Uh, what about it's a long way to the shop if you want a sausage roll? That's a great song. Thunderstruck. Oh, it's great. The guitar. How's dun, that go? Dun, dun. Thunderstruck. It's more you. You more know the lead riff at the start. That great lead riff. It just at the start. cuts through. And who is that? Yeah. Who is that? Is That's that Angus? Is that Angus? That's Angus. He, he is a distinctive. He's the lead guitarist. How old would he be now? Mate, he should be wearing a school uniform. Uh, he wears sorry. a velvet blue school uniform, doesn't he? He should be wearing the principal's uniform by now. He shouldn't be still at <laughs> school. Uh, <laughs> Have you ever seen him? No. Oh. The best. I love him. I mean, we, we we were reminiscing about it. Me and Marco Tool is another. He's a comedian writer. He's been mentioned. Anyway, we went and saw Devo the other night. Now they're from the same. Era. They're similar era, actually. Yep. A little bit later, but they were obviously completely different band, new wave. Yep. And we were re- reminiscing about the bands. We went and saw ACDC. I reckon in the nineties, me and him with um, Matthew Hardy. You know Hardy, who does a great, yeah, great yeah. podcast. Yeah. Saturday afternoon fever. Because you go along the ACDC, the people were almost as entertaining as the band. Yeah. All yeah. the fans. They were like Japanese schoolgirls there. There were granddads with mullets with their kids. And, and Matthew Hardy got so excited, he took his shirt off at the start and threw it mm-hmm. into the crowd. And then he was just, he's got, got no shirt. He's got no shirt. <laughs> he's done. But they were, oh man, they were great. And that lineup had um, 
Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, one of them died, didn't he? Malcolm Young died, the rhythm guitarist. Angus's brother died. Oh, did he? Yeah, early dementia or something. It was terrible. Oh, but that had Angus, Angus, Malcolm. I don't know who the bass player was. It's, I think it was one of the original, sort of the originals. They had a few. And then, um, of course, Brian. And the drummer was, um, oh, God. You know, Denise Scott went on a date with him in the 70s. The, really? Yep, yeah, the drummer of ACDC. Because he had some issues in New Zealand where he was living, where he was, did you remember? oh, Rudd, his name is, he got arrested and charged with something. And so they had to get a new drummer for a while because he had a few oh, issues with. It's a lot of tragic stuff going yep, on. Yep, yep. Yep, Phil Rudd. Yep, there we go. There we go. Um, You're good. Anyway, what a band! What a, what a band! What I mean, who band. were the? I mean, that's probably they're in the history of rock and roll in the world. Mm. They're one of the biggest bands ever, oh, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Not, not just well, you go the Beatles, Rolling Stones, and then you go, you know, there's other big, big bands like the Eagles and whatever Elton John, but ACDC in terms of rock bands, probably yes. one of the biggest. Yeah. You yeah. Go, I mean, who's bigger? You two? I mean, you two. You know, yeah. they're now the Foo Fighters, maybe, but you know, but ACDC are just, you know, they're great. Love them. Not more than, nothing more we can say except for do yourself a favour and Molly Meldrum, you know, turn them on and have a listen. Pretty great band. So, for those about to rock, we salute you. Well, when you go and see them, it's just like hit after hit after hit. Even yeah, if you're not a fan, you know all their songs. You're, oh, this one. Oh, this one. It's easy to be hard to do your new stuff, wouldn't it? With them. Yeah. Yeah, they, went, they, they put out a new album, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, that, that, the, the riff cuts through. I mean, to be, and to have that riff, that one up your sleeve, okay? Yeah. The crowd's gone a bit quiet. Right. Bang, let's hit him with a bit of uh, Highway to Hell. That'll uh, get him firing again. Thunderstrike. I don't think they do anything. They don't, it's all rock and roll. There's no melody. There's no... No, like, there's no ballads. No, no, no not ballads. Not many ballads. No, no, you're right. You're right. Uh, I don't know what else we can say except dips our lid. Rock on. Yeah. Angus is probably listening to this. Probably missing Australia. Probably lives in Brazil or somewhere. Yeah, rock on. Do they are they still together? Yeah, they're still they're playing. I think they're playing again. Or what, what, Brian Johnson was going to. He had voice issues, and so they got the guy from Guns and Roses to sing for a while. They got Axel. Oh, really? Yeah, and he sang for a while, and because he couldn't finish the tour, but then he got fixed up or whatever, and came and went back on tour. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. He's a very gentle soul when you see him on that. On yeah, that, on, you wouldn't you wouldn't pick him for a hard rock and roller. Yeah, well, he was in a. Of course, he was picked because they had to get someone to re- replace Bon Scott, and he was already in a hard rock band. Back, yeah, back in the day. Yeah. But you know, to work to the crowds, they work. You've got to have, know how to. Oh know, yeah, work the room. Absolutely. You know? All, All right. right. Well, let's have some thinking, thinking music. Thinking music. Okay. Um, it's a shame we can't play a bit of Akadaka. No, we can't play yeah. that. Um, Manor now. Yeah. Can we? Oh, gee! Can we play a bit from that interview? Been, uh, no. Can we have a bit of a? Could could we get some Peter Pan on your phone? You read it out for us. God, oh, no, it's boring. Pretend I'm down the beach house. Yeah. Uh, could we? Why don't we do a make believe? It is a. It is an intriguing story, Peter Pan. Like, how would that go these days? What do you mean, woke wise? Well, yeah, if Peter turned up in your window. <laughs> oh, save so you. Yeah. I'll be Peter Pan, you be the kid, and I reckon the kid's not a... What's his name? Has the kid got a name? Well, there's Wendy, and I can't remember the other boy's name, so you just be like, you know, Stuart or someone. Okay, like, you know. right. All right, well, do you want to do it? Okay, so I'm in bed, yeah. and, and you're going to... I'm going to turn pre- up the You're going to present to me an yeah. offer. all right. So we need the tinkle, tinkle music. Oh, yeah, here we go. And, well, uh, you, you can be snoring a bit. I'll be, I'll, I'll be in bed. Yeah, you're, um, bed. you're a young boy. You're a, young, you're a teenager. Hello. Hello. Hello, Stuart. Stuart, it's Peter Pan here. Peter Pan, I'm, oh. I'm the boy who never grew up. I'm Peter Pan. That was the voice I was going to use. Oh. Um. <laughs> I'm Peter Pan, Stuart. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, g'day. Um. Yeah, Peter, I'm in Australia. I'm flying around and recruiting children for yeah. Never Never Land. Oh, yeah, uh, I've so, heard a bit about Never Never Land through... Yeah. Uh, 
the Michael Jackson incident. No, so no, to speak. no, no. He's got nothing to do with me. I'm Peter Pan. He, he was sounded just, a bit like he was Michael just, Jackson. Yeah, I know. But he was just a fan of mine. I can't oh, help right. it who my fans are. Yeah. I'm the original Peter Pan. Okay. I'm the boy who never grew up. Boy. Check out my baby teeth. Oh. Um, I fly around and I recruit children for Never Neverland. Do you want to come to Never Neverland? Oh, uh, oh, hang on. Here's Tinkerbell. Meet Tinkerbell. Good day, Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell's a fairy. Yeah. Tink- Tinkerbell's my assistant. Okay. Hmm. So it's Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. The fairy. And you're flying around. Am I the first you've come to tonight? Yeah, to, uh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. I want you to come to Never Neverland. You want me to fly to Never Neverland? Yeah, and then we'll have a fight with a pirate called Captain Hook. Yes. You'll almost get in by a crocodile. Yes. And you'll meet the Lost Boys. And they're, they're other boys that won't grow up. Mm. But you can become the leader of the Lost Boys, Should Stuart. I ask, my, ask my parents? No. Oh, my God, no. Don't ask. No, no. Don't wake up. They don't understand me. I'm Peter Pan. When? The boy who never grew up. The boy? What do you mean you never grew up? What happened? I never grew up. I ran, I ran away and lived with the fairies. So? It, in Never Neverland. Is yeah. there something wrong with you? That no, you never... no. I just, but Stuart, you know, I love being a child and you, you're a child and we, we're children together, yeah? So you, don't, I, you don't have to grow up. I, I, can I just make a note? Because you know what? You could, you could eventually work in a bank or a factory. And Is that fun? You'd rather be in Never Neverland with me. Okay? Just think about it. Let, summarize. I'll, I'll just write a note about mum and dad. I'm out for a no, while. No, no, I'm no. Go, I'm no. going to no, stay. No. A, a boy has come to, uh, to the door that has never grown up. Peter Pan. Uh, Peter Pan. Yep. He's with uh, a, Tink, a fairy. Tink, a fairy. Tink about. We're going to go and hang out with some pirates boys that are lost. Lost boys. And we're going to hang out with pirates. Yep. Uh, we're going to fly around. And a crocodile. And a crocodile. Yeah. Uh, and as I read this. Yeah. I've got to say, I don't think it's going to go down with mum and dad. I don't think I want to go. Oh, what? There's also endless free fairy floss all day. I'm in. Great, let's go. <laughs> endless fairy <free> floss. <laughs> oh, there they fly off. God, that's wow. a regular character you can do. Yeah. <laughs> well, I used to do my bat character. He had a high voice. Woo, the bat. It's, it's, the, it's, like the, it's the standard go-to, isn't it? Really? Yeah, the high mm. voice. Mm. Yeah. Hey, uh, Glenn. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, what's the answer? Uh, Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Oh, maybe Angus. Oh. oh, I've got it. I know he used to experiment with different costumes. He wore like a clown maybe and a schoolgirl. The first costume Angus ever wore in ACDC was Peter Pan. I was going to say that too. Oh, really? Yeah, because the, I mean, he's a schoolboy, you know, he's sort of larger than life. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure I've seen times when he's been on a wire and he's flown around. Yeah. All right, well, what is the answer, Sam? Bon Scott from ACDC was born in the same tiny Scottish town as the author of Peter Pan. Oh, there you go. There's a connection. been listening to Somehow Related with Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. So they, they get down to the coffee shop and Bon Scott's there and she's there. What are you going to do today? I'm going to go and hang out. I wonder if there's statues of both of them. I bet you there is. There should be. It'd be a statue of Peter Pan, a statue of Bon Scott. Yep. Imagine if Bon Scott met Peter Pan. He'd just get him on the get him on the drink. Because <laughs> he, he, Come on, mate. he, he was a, a good oh, drinker, a big wasn't drink he? Up, big Not so, you shouldn't say good. Yeah, after a few days, Peter Pan would be on the fags and the booze. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you still buy Peter start, Pan start, dolls start, or anything like probably that? Probably starting fights. Like, yeah, getting in trouble. <laughs> Led him the wrong way. I don't know why that makes me it's laugh. It's like you, what you've done to me. Yeah, Tinkerbell. Yeah. In Tinkerbell's this, on the drugs. I think in this relationship, you are Peter Pan and I am Tinkerbell. Oh, are you? Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're, t- you're leading me astray with all this. You're a fairy. You're, you're not, queen of the fairies. No, yeah. no, of course not. I love oh, fairies. Yeah. At the bottom of the garden. Oh, man. The fairies are nice. Cute. Aren't they? They're cute. Yeah. yeah they're, they're doing good cute. things. The, you know, cute. the fairies will help you. You know, when you get lost, the fairies help you home. Yeah. No, I know. We, fin- we haven't, you haven't got a fairy joke? No, no. Have you got a joke about Peter Pan dolls or <laughs> dolls. Peter Pan or Michael Jackson? Oh God! Oh, I've got yeah. a Michael Jackson oh, joke, but I cannot do no, it. You, no, no, I know. I've, do you know the one? I think uh, Magic. Is the one that ends with the punchline Magic. Magic. No, it's something. Don't. Oh, I can't even say yeah. that. No, I can't do it. Yeah. it's really inappropriate. Yeah, it's, it, it's a, yeah. It's a song lyric that he says. Oh, that is not beat uh, it. Well, you know when um, Peter, Peter, 
You know when Weird Al did Eat It? No, every song that Weird Al, he has to get permission to do it. And he had to ring up, he met with Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson thought he was really funny, so he let him do it. Yeah. Where did I see you know, you know who said no to Weird Al? Because, you know, he also did Nirvana. And the, um, who the said guy no? From, no, the guy from Nirvana said, yeah, go for it. Who said no? Have a guess. Who said no to Weird Al? Have a guess. Uh, who said no to Weird Al? Prince. No, oh, yeah. Well, Prince was. said, you know, this is my masterpiece. You're not going to take the piss out of it. Yeah, but, you know. Well, I know. It doesn't make on. your masterpiece any worse. I know. But I, oh, know. I saw Russell Crowe interviewed the other day, and oh, he was yeah. um, on, saying that Michael Jackson used to ring him up and prank call him. Michael Jackson. <laughs> I can't remember what he'd say, but he put on hey, the character is that, voice. Is that the gladiator? <laughs> That's right. I think he did. <laughs> Hello. 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 What are you wearing? wearing? <laughs> Russell Crowe. There you go, Russell Crowe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't worry about that. All I know about Russell Crowe is that when I work with Dicko from Australian Idol, Russell Crowe invited him over to his house, sat him down and said, I want you to listen to my new album. Push play on the CD player. He left the room. Dicko had to sit there for 45 minutes. Really? Glenn, I want you to listen to my new album. I'm going to hit play right now. Stay there, mate. Well, it's not, it's not really an objective view of it, really, because it's been forced on someone. Shh, listen to the music. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. What do you think? It's good. I like it. 